week, I like to uh, present three DM tips and two player tips for you to use at your table and feedback to me. So let me know how you feel about these. My first DM tip for the week is that the world will react to forces that act on it, including bad character behavior. So use law, mercenaries, displaced monsters, bounty hunters, things like that to check bad decisions or to reward good ones. What I mean by that is if you have characters who are constantly acting out, you know, terrorizing civilians or robbing people, eventually the world is going to react to that, right? It's going to affect the reputation with the town. The local law enforcement might be involved. They might spend a night in jail. Could be worse. People could refuse to sell to them. So I often get a lot of questions about how I deal with certain character behaviors. And my first answer is how would the world correct that, right? So think about that when you're trying to mediate or mitigate those types of behaviors. And in a similar uh, sense, to keep it on the positive, when behavior is good or they're local heroes or they're really reaching out to help NPCs, then maybe those rewards or maybe those behaviors are rewarded with good things too, right? Maybe a, a discount for them in favor for uh, for their good treatment or maybe some uh, access to the local militia armory because they've stepped up and helped them do their jobs well. My second DM tip for the week is to casually roll dice every now and then for no reason. Of course, this doesn't really stand in the uh, post-COVID virtual uh, scenario that we often see. But when I am DMing behind the screen in person, I always casually just roll some dice. And the reason is you never want your characters or your players to learn that when you start rolling dice, that something's about to happen. Avoiding those DM tells really keep things surprising and engaging and will prevent your players from suddenly perking up every time you're doing something. So casually roll dice flip through pages pretend that you're always in the middle of something so that your players can also be kept on their toes you don't want to be predictable as a dm right my third and final dm tip for the week is to celebrate your your failures and not lie about your roles we had a conversation last week about whether or not I felt new DMs should adjust or fudge their roles. And I think there's some convention for this. Of course, you want to do which whatever is going to give you the best experience and deliver the best experience for your players. But typically, I'm not a fan of fudging roles. I, I Avoid lying about your roles or changing the roles because the failures and those really tense moments that are created by roles on either side of the die are what really make the game magic and cause players to and DMs to think on their feet and, and do things in a creative way that they may not have thought about otherwise. Failed checks and attacks are a gift to force you into that creative plan B. So don't waste it. All right, my, my two player tips this week. My first player tip for this week is to share the love and wealth with your party. This is more of a cultural dynamic. So nobody likes a loot or attention hog. So try to be uh, a good table citizen. And usually what will always come down to a defining factor there is how you handle loot and treasure at the table. Um, so share the love. Make sure that everyone's getting a piece of that action. You all do the work so everyone should reap the rewards. And don't be a loot hog. It's, it just creates the wrong kind of tension and conflict at the table. My second player tip this week speaks to that. Uh, my first one as well, which is to assign a group treasure. And this has always been a great practice at my tables. I always encourage that, but I don't enforce that my players assign a group treasure or someone to, to keep track of the party funds and split the funds and decisions equally amongst the party. When you have treasure, you have loot to disseminate amongst your fellow players. Sit down, talk about it, spread it around. I guarantee if you're, if you're grabby McGrab hands and you're always the one who goes for the items and the magic items and you always want everything for yourself, you're only going to create a lot of tension, a lot of hostility, and a lot of resentment in, uh, in the party. And that leads to infighting, and that is simply not fun for anyone. So uh, infighting over money and loot can easily ruin a good thing. So elect a party treasurer, somebody that you trust to stay impartial, and, um, and then maybe split it up from time to time, right? Every time you accumulate 1,000 gold, then you divide it equally so everyone has their own kind of bankroll as well.